I feel like my new intro should just be me apologizing for it being a while since I made a new video. <laughs> And welcome to a new video a couple of months ago i made a witchcraft related video where i promised to make more and now is the perfect time it's a week before the winter solstice which is a great time to let go of old nasty habits and welcome in new positivity the winter solstice is on the 21st of december which is also the shortest day and the longest night after this day the sun will return to the earth and life will begin once more in a less cringy way of saying it, it kind of symbolizes new beginnings and um, yeah, it gives you a, an opportunity to begin life anew. So what I do at the winter or summer solstice or just randomly is a banishing ritual. I personally don't work or believe in spells. They're kind of a bit too theatrical for me, but I do perform like a lot of rituals. And this is one that I do quite often and it's honestly helped me a lot to deal with like a lot of shit like to let go which is like the goal of this ritual of course not everyone does this like ritual the same way but I find this to have yeah to be super helpful and this is just how I do it so I'm gonna show you that so whenever and wherever you want to do this might be personal to everyone I often, like with my rituals, I make a circle of candles and sit in inside of it. But of course you can also do this outside or with people, with your coffin, whatever. I like to meditate first to really get my focus ready. And then what I do is get a little piece of paper. Often I get something like this big, but if you want to get rid of a lot of shit, you might need something bigger. But I do think like if you make a long list maybe it's like easier to lose focus on each of the things i often write a maximum of five or six things then you get black or red red ink and you'll just write down whatever you want to get rid of this doesn't have to be like super specific as long as you like know what you mean for example social media can be quite stressful whether you have a blog and your reach is not going so well or you're just kind of like intimidated by other people like you know what you mean like your intention you know your in intention and if you just write down social media stress that's enough because as long as you know what you mean and when you're writing it while writing it you really should like focus and like really think of it almost like you know when Dumbledore like gets like like the thought stream like pour in it like you really have to pour it in or something so focus is a really important thing for this and you really yeah you just have to imagine it you can also write down toxic people on this and it's not necessarily like I, this is not a hex you're not hexing them with this like you're, you shouldn't wish death upon someone or some other bad shit like this is purely for your like to just let help you let go of maybe yeah to get rid of negative shit so it's, it's for you not for others but you can write down the names of toxic people on it then comes the most fun part burning it now you have to be safe like i always burn my things outside of my window and it, it's quite funny because i'm kind of scared of fire so i was like burning like ah it's just like keep me going away from me but yeah when you burn it you should have like a bowl or maybe a cauldron even just so you can drop the paper in it and do this outside yeah and when you burn it you really have to like visualize all these things like literally just going up into nothing and just like blowing away in the wind like you see the smoke and you see the the ashes and also the ashes that are left over you just want to like release into the night sky or day sky that <laughs> this can also work but i prefer to do this at night make sure it's burned like all of it and the ashes are just like away from you like you don't want to carry anything back inside and then go back inside and what i person often have is like i get quite emotional 
I don't get like I don't cry super easy unless I'm like on my period and I'm watching a sad movie like I don't really cry if I'm hurt or anything but then like after like after I burn these things I can I can literally like it feels so powerful I'm, I'm not shitting you it, it really feels like my brain has to also release like so don't get shocked if you get like super emotional that always happens for me like I I start crying hysterically out of nowhere <laughs> and yeah it can be quite messy but then you're literally like I, I feel super empty after burning it I sometimes also like to just like clean a like clean clean my space with like burning sage um, but yeah that's that's optional <laughs> so what I then do is get another piece of paper and I personally have like I prefer pencils because it's made of natural material and I have this pencil it's just like made from a stick and I have this on my altar so it's always kind of like charged with good shit and I use this pencil to write down things that I would welcome into my life and again like the Dumbledore kind of like the intense focus you really need to like visualize what you mean and um, a few examples like what that I often write down is like more motivation more creativity um, like kind of like things like those kind of more like broader things like I, I don't think you should like write down like oh I want money but maybe success you know what I mean I don't know if I'm making sense then when I have my list ready I fold it up or roll it up and place it in my altar if you do this like releasing like if you have multiple I don't I never throw these away like if I made a new one I, I want to get rid of the other one because it's not very relevant anymore but I never wanted to throw it away or I don't want to burn it either like I um, bury it somewhere in nature so it can still like it can continue to grow I mean being a green witch that's like what I believe in like the energies of nature and um, since it's just paper with a bit of pencil it's not very harmful either so never bury anything plastic or unnatural like just paper and the pencil <laughs> and then you've done it even though I do this uh, like banishing releasing ritual quite like every once in a while I always really notice that it's the strongest of the winter and the summer solstice and I have a cool little story time by the way this year at the summer solstice I was at this photography event I also made a video about that it's like it's called Art Dam and um, it was really cool and we, we, we had rented out like a cottage and everything but people there some some I knew some I only see like every now and then and some I haven't met before but yeah it was a summer solstice and my friend she asked me she's kind of new to witchcraft and she asked me like what I usually do at the summer solstice and I explained to her this like banishing ritual that I do and she was like oh should we do it and I often like it's very new to me to like share this kind of shit and I always do my witchcraft alone so it was like like okay but it was kind of awkward but I was I was also open for it so we asked we gathered a bunch of people around who were just curious like respective respectfully curious and then we went outside got a bunch of candles a piece of paper everything and I explained them how like I do this and it was, it was so cool like I did my own ritual like 10 meters away from them because it was kind of like it's it gets quite emotional for me yeah it was beautiful to share this like some people got quite emotional as well and everyone yeah that, that was it everyone thanked me afterwards and they gave me a hug and it was so sweet because they it really helped them and I was so <laughs> and that's also why I want to continue doing these videos because even though there's a lot of like elitism and I pro probably get some comments like are oh, you doing it wrong even though like I don't follow a certain religion so the only rule I go by is do no harm but take no shit and I do believe in karma so yeah I just I would like to do more videos about this and yeah let me know if you like this video and if it, it was helpful let me know after the winter solstice 
if this was anything helpful and if you performed this as well and i wish you all a happy yule bye don't forget to like like and subscribe and everything